Good morning guys from Hollywood Universal. We are here checking out all the new Jurassic World stuff. We're also gonna take a tour of the entire park and we need to go cut this intro to short because I need to go ride the Jurassic ride. Let's go. Universal Studios theme park opening, take one. And action. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Universal Studios Hollywood is now open. Welcome to the world's largest movie studio and theme park. Have a wonderful day. Everyone's going to Jurassic World. Alright, here we go. I see a T-Rex. What a view! The view's amazing. There it is! Oh my gosh! Oh! I hear dinosaurs! I'm like a five-year-old right now in a candy store that has been given a hundred dollars. All right, we're rope dropping. Going into the ride. In the age of the dinosaurs, you are clear for entry.
it's his day and we have the world and he's a fan. He's actually gonna go ahead and go ride single rider so I can get a good glimpse of him. All right guys, so we are outside of Jurassic Outfitters. We're gonna go inside and take a look at all the really cool merchandise. A lot of the stuff that we're gonna see here is gonna be either available just at regular stores or you're gonna see it available at Orlando also. But there are exclusive things like this cool shirt here. This is like a grand opening shirt. They've got this cool backpack. I think this is in Universal Orlando also. They've got like this just regular Jurassic World. It's kind of like if it was a souvenir shirt, which I love that they're doing this. They're kind of getting away from the Jurassic branding of the movie and more so just what merchandise you would buy at the park. They've got these press pennies here. So a dollar each or for five bucks you get all of them. I think I'm gonna have to do that. They've got Jurassic World hoodies, which I might actually have to get. I don't know, we'll see. We've got a cool football here with the Indominus on it. I love these statues here. They got Owen and Blue. They've got all sorts of props from InGen. I think one day I am gonna buy some of these really nice statues. Once we buy a house, we'll have probably a Jurassic room, I feel like, right? That's, that's acceptable, right, Taylor? Yeah, she says yes. Jeff Goldwyn signed that Jeep. These are cool. They're mini co figures. Ooh, those are cool. Little license plate frame. Oh, yeah. So this is cool. Up on their TVs, they have security cameras of the island and all the paddocks and all the employee areas. It's really cool. Ooh. What about these socks, Tay? You should get those. I love this sign. I think I need to get this. No. This needs to be mine. This Isla Nublar water bottle is probably gonna come home with me. I'm not gonna lie to you. Or if you'd like to get Alright, we're at Raptor Encounter and I'm about Don't to go move. meet Blue. Where are you from? <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so glad you're better at this than me. How do you know this lady? Who is this woman? She's an appetizer? Very smart. Point out that the appetizer is staying at a safe distance from the dinosaur while you're up here by yourself. Come here, appetizer. Oh. Come here. Come here. Sir, she's responding to you extremely well. Hello. Do you like my job? <laughs> Very dangerous standing up here in front of her out here. But ma'am, you're doing it. You do not! You do not! You do not have a mouse-sized hamburger on your buffet. Two things she loves to eat, hamburgers and mice. How dare you bring that here? Well, actually, it could be a good deflection for her. Want a hamburger? You want it? Blue, eat that. No, oh, okay. Thank you. Guys, run, Bye, Blue. Run, run, run. Just be extra safe. Thank you! All right, so we just finished Raptor Encounter with Blue. And we're waiting now for another dinosaur to come out. And this dinosaur, if you can't guess, is a Triceratops. Ladies and gentlemen, the mighty Ceratopsian roamed the Earth nearly 68 million years ago. Even though they were one of the largest land animals ever discovered, much about them remained a mystery until now. Today, Jurassic World invites you to walk on the wild side and meet one of the park's very own gentle giants. Introducing Juliet, our Triceratops. I think we're gonna go get some food. We'll get a drink later at Isla Nubar. But for now, we're gonna go into the Jurassic Cafe. Ooh, that tropical fruit salad looks good. Ooh, all this food looks good. The Isla Burger, Isla Chicken Sandwich. Ooh. All right, what is that? The pomegranate 
like guacamole. These are like plantains. Mm -hmm. That looks good. This is the melon salsa. Mm. You can get with the salmon. I want to get this, like, I want to try it really bad. How is it? I'll find out. Good. It's really good. Right? I got, I got she stole my chip back, like, waste no chip. And I got the Isla burger because I'm basic today. But it looks amazing. We found a mummy. Hi, Mr. Mummy. How are you? You looked better. You look a little dead. But it's a good look, it's not terrible. It's all right. I give you like a seven. There you go. <laughs> Bye, mommy. I'll miss you. So we just finished with Jurassic World, so there's probably no other reason to stay here. Just kidding. Where else are we going? I don't know the park. For the fun land, like the, the, the man. We don't have that back at home, so. Yeah, we're trying to do stuff. I didn't get it on a video, but we did the mummy, and it was really, really cool. Oh yeah, the mummy, um, the intros, oh, like, like when you start to get on the ride, like that part's the best versus Hulk, I personally think. They didn't have the fire part, but it was still really, really good. I liked it. And then we might do Transformers. I think that's the same thing. We're going to do Transformers. I mean, and since we're down there, we should probably go ride the Jurassic World ride for the fifth time. Yes, we will. I promise. I just want to thank whoever invented escalators because, for real, I don't want to walk up these stairs. Ooh, and there's a big T-Rex. I don't know if you guys can see, but that's all the sets for the backlot tour. But it's actual sets that they use. When we go on that, I think they let us videotape. We'll try to show you everything. Um, they've got all sorts of city sets. I know back there is where they filmed uh, part of the Lost World, but the set has since been basically abandoned and it's been left to rot, so it's pretty much gone. Uh-oh, they're fighting over Taylor. Are you okay? I think you were just held hostage for a second. Homer was ready to fight. He's ready to throw down. Oh, Brian's gonna like that. Ooh. Now we're heading down the hill to the front lot. There it that houses is. our 28 sound stages. In those stages, you can create any environment that the story demands. So this is stage 12, and this is where they shoot voice. They also filmed Scarface there, Back to the Future, some of Jurassic Park. History there inside of stage 12 that takes us to the end of the universal timeline. From here, they wide variety of facades that portray a wide variety of time periods from the late 1800s all the way through to present day and even a little beyond. So now, making see up here, there's nothing behind it. Square. Maybe all these years later, but even like right now, now when we're shooting, as you'd have no Wally, idea this isn't first real. Two back to the Future films with Michael J. Fox and Christopher Lloyd. Off to your left, the big city hall structure, the top center, that is where Doc Brown harnessed the bolt of lightning. So we're going to fly Back to the Future, the first film. Now this is how it looked back in 85, for the first Back to the Future movie. Now it's, you know, been 34 years. You can see eh, some things have changed, but that is still the same spot. So used in Psycho 2. So it's not exactly New York, but a lot of times when you see New York in the movies, it was shot right here on the Universal Metro sets. If you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. Even if you make it here on the Universal lot. We always know that. That's cool, you can see like the back end of the shot set. Here you have to take any count of people looking at the Flintstones made some donations a while back for a nice of them. It did take a little bit to convince Fred to leave the Fred Mobile. He eventually agreed. More toward the ends of vehicles from our Fast and Furious films. Also one of the newer arrivals, the gyrospheres here from Jurassic World. What? Now one picture car that is no longer in our lineup is the DeLorean from Back to the Future. That is now on permanent loan to the Peterson Automotive Museum down on Wilshire Boulevard here in Los Angeles. And we'll continue on to an island off the coast of Costa Rica. There it is. Welcome to Jurassic Park. 
That's right. Welcome to Jurassic Park. You'll see many of the set pieces and vehicles from Jurassic wow. Park and the Lost World Jurassic Park, both of which star Jeff Goldblum. On our left-hand side, we're starting to pass by the big camouflage RV that was the mobile lab unit, the Lost World Jurassic Park. This At the far amazing. end of that is the converted Humvee. It's got the swing chairs on the side that help you around with a few dinosaurs. And just a lot of odds and ends items to hear. Oh, boxes, that's where they were in for cages, Jurassic Park 3 with the Spinosaurus. You can get a better look at uh, some of these big logs and limbs and things. Now, a closer inspection, no, they're not all they seem. A little paint and shellac put on a bit. Hey, wait a minute. Oh my gosh. Dilophosauruses. Yes, yes. The last dinosaur spit. Keep you nice and invigorated. Oh. They are truly extinct here in Hollywood. Uh, not even dinosaurs. Uh, we'll go ahead and continue on down uh, south now. So to speak here on the back lot to an area called Old Mexico. It's been used in many productions throughout the years. Back in the 80s, it was used in a fun little film called Three Amigos. So Creature from the Black Lagoon was actually filmed right in there. Come with something. We're going to make our way back indoors, this time into stage 50, yeah. one of the few multi level sound stages in the world. Some years back, used to film part of an episode of the Fox series Bones of David Morianis and Emily D. Chanel. Stage 50, we come out onto Steven Spielberg Drive. Spielberg Drive is pretty lengthy. It runs through a good portion of the back lot. Right now, it's going to take us up to beautiful Amity Island, an uh -oh. entire vacation destination. Brian's going to like this. I guess they finally captured the pesky shark that was causing all the trouble. As an added measure of protection, we dispatched Officer George of the Amity PD dive team into the water to make sure things are safe so we can go for a nice, refreshing afternoon swim. So, we'll pull down here along the dock, see if I can uh, signal Officer George. I think I can see him down there in his uh, diver cage. Hey, George, oh, there you are. Uh, George, we're actually behind you. So just caught the wrong shark. And now our pal Officer George is uh, becoming a George Cabal. Alright, last Officer George. He's not taking the bait, maybe he's deciding to chew on something else. Oh, I think acid. And now there's a fire. Uh, probably best if we just head over to the far side of the... The shark is not working. Repeat. The shark is not working. <laughs> there is the lagoon area there where our pal Jaws lives. It was also home to Angela Lansbury as Jessica Fletcher. Twelve successful seasons of murder she wrote in the area of the street Cabin Cove. We'll have a little side street with a hot set sign in front of it. That is the entrance to Colonial Street. Up the road here on Steven Spielberg Drive. We're in a nice woodsy section of the back lot. This area that we're starting to travel through was used for Bird Box on Netflix with Sandra Bullock. It's also made an appearance on the Fox series 911 with Angela Bassett and Peter Krause is starring. Norman Bates, now at the Bates Motel, in the distance, the Psycho House. Doing at the uh, motel today, and uh, let's here. One thing I'm uh, curious about is why is he wearing a jacket? This is, uh, you know, not jacket weather, pretty warm out here, but uh, teach their own, I guess. And Norman, uh, Obviously not paying attention, and now moving a body in broad daylight in full view of 147 people. Uh, Norman, you gotta check your surroundings, pal. Yeah, you got a lot of, a lot of witnesses here, Norman. You might want to, uh, you know, kind of... Wait, let's see. 
Oh, geez. You know what? Probably best if we just uh, check on out of the Bates Motel. Norman is not happy to see us. The front of the Psycho House. Look to the upstairs window. And you should be able to uh, wave hello to Mothers. He's uh, usually up there rocking back and forth. Passerby, continue into another fantastic 70 global crash site from Steven Spielberg's version of War of the Worlds. And it means that, again, to sit down and talk about War of the Worlds. I thought, what if the 747 goes down right in a big neighborhood? Because it's, it's just something you don't see. You're doing good. You're doing good. You're doing good. You're doing good. And as we exit the World of Worlds crash site, we're going to come out into an area called Falls Lake. Its main feature is a giant blue backdrop that happens to be the largest freestanding backdrop in all of Hollywood. Blue backdrop with a concrete basin in front of it. When the uh, concrete basin area in front of the backdrop is filled with water completely, it can hold over 3 million gallons. Uh, not too shabby. Thanks for joining us on the tour. Enjoy the rest of your day here at the Universal Studios Hollywood Entertainment Capital. All right, so we just finished the backlot tour, which was fun. It's it was really cool. I got mad because I saw the Jurassic Park vehicles just kind of being left to rot. Which Universal, send them to my house. I'll take care of them. Please. Now we're going to go into Hogwarts. Yes, technically it is called Hogsmeade, <laughs> but we're going to call it Hogwarts. Because we can. Look, it's Cinderella Castle. <laughs> Every Disney fan out there right now is coming for my head. Ooh, fire. Oh, look at the car. Yeah, it's just the Weasley family car. Very cool. All right, we're going into tricks and jokes. You are just all over all of it, aren't you? Whoa, what happened? Aha, I got it. That's what I added to get. What? That frisbee up there. I grew one. You had that as a frisbee? Yeah. It looks really scary and not friendly. We've got the love potions, chocolate frogs, birdie bots, every flavor beans. The store is set up almost identical. It almost feels like we're back in Orlando. Pretty positive we don't have this in Orlando. Tay, we're spilling the tea. It's Donkey. Hi, Donkey. What's up, man? You are super tall. I am really tall. Wow, man. How tall are you? Uh, About 6'4". And who is this young lady? I'm Taylor. Hi, Taylor. And how do you know each other? We're dating. You're dating? How long have you been dating? About three years now. Three, three years? Yeah. Wow, man. It's a, it's a commitment of a certain uh, magnitude. I mean, that's really the word I'm looking for is magnitude. Yes. Um, should we just jump in then? Yes. Okay. Um, <clears throat> dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in the presence of Donkey to witness the union of this man and this woman and holy Donkey morning. Okay. You, you may now kiss your dragon. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, man, that was so beautiful. And look, he didn't drop the camera. Thanks, Donkey. Yeah. Many happy years. This man's not legally binding. Bye. <laughs> Look at that, I just saved a bunch of money on a wedding ring, so now we're just married. I don't even have to buy you one. Oh, yeah. Excuse me? Oh, Halloween Horror Nights, Happy New Year stuff. Oh, that star. Jeez. I gotta show Cody all this. We're going into Super Silly Fun Land, and this is something that is exclusive to California. This is cool. They've got like a water zone for kids or adults if you're hot enough. Banana Cabana Minion Mishap Space Killer What are we riding in? I don't know. Are they bugs? They're bugs of some sort. I think they're bugs. Where's the minions? I found these sunglasses. I, I like them. What do you think? The fashionable. They look pretty good. I think I can wear them. We have to ride the Jurassic World ride one more time.
All right, how many times did I ride it? Six. It was six. That's our trip to Universal in California. We will see you guys in the next one. Bye.